Like, Possessed might have been the best one pre-patch. He likes Possessed. It's matchup dependent. It's very matchup dependent. Makes sense. Like, in ESL, when he was facing Perfect Legend, he did not know the Tempest allow matchup at the time. So what he did, since he had three games, was use all three variations to see which one was the most effective. Gotcha. And then he labbed it up at his house for hours. Gotcha. He played a good Tempest allow named Big Boy from Cali uh, online. And he's like, okay, I've got the matchup down. I'm good. That is what he does. He is a student of the game. He's a scientist. Kenjutsu probably still the more challenging to use of the three. The first one is called Kenjutsu, right? That is correct. That's the combo heavy one. Yeah, it's it's, it's combo heavy, but not a lot of zoning. He does have like the the force grab from mm -hmm. full screen, which has an insane amount of range. But if you miss it, you can almost get punished. But I think you can get full screen bobblehead punished if you uh, if you block it. Yeah, not everyone has that luxury. Yeah, that's true. You can't, <laughs> not everyone got a bobblehead. He's relatively safe for most of the cast. PlayStation's going to figure this out for us right now. Hopefully they do. Pig is looking around for the Sony gods to come help him. These are the first pools of the day. The audience in the back is actually settling amongst all the different brackets and other pools that are taking place at the uh, other end of the of the uh, main hall that you're seeing right here, guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be seeing a lot more people filling these seats as the day goes along. Everyone's pretty much playing matches right now. And if you're not playing matches, there's a good chance you're probably sleeping. <laughs> Everyone was up really late last night. Have you actually checked out the uh, the arcade, the CEO arcade that's I a couple doors not. down? What do it they have in there? Is um, they have everything. It's amazing. They have, they have an MKX arcade cabinet with sticks. It's it's with sticks, so I can't play it. I don't know how to play MKX <laughs> without a pad, but that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. I they didn't have, know those existed. They have all these other dedicated Japanese uh, arcade cabinets for like CVS2, Third Strike, Super Turbo, the Soul classics. Calibur. It's it is. I was spent I spent at least six hours yesterday in there. It was amazing. It's funny to see all these guys come in and play fighting games that are from old man times, <laughs> like like late '90s, early 2000s, and they're like, "Man, these games look so good." <laughs> it's like that makes me feel good. Thank you. Figuring something out right now, guys. No worries. Big looks extremely happy about the situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. Hmm. Yes, yes. I, everything you're telling me does not please me. <laughs> so I'll tell a story to kill some time. So Pig of the Hut started off this game very unhappy with Kenji. Kenji was terrible. Rightfully Ken so. I mean, right. He, yeah, it's, it was hard to make him Did good. you play him when he was bottom five? Oh, yeah. No, I tried. Uh, I, I played him for about maybe less than 30 games where I was like, I feel like this character is severely lacking things that other characters have. Right. And I couldn't, I, I could kind of figure it out, but it was the fact that he just couldn't get good damage. It was really hard outside of Possess. And the fact that he was a zoning character with all of his zoning options being unsafe. Yeah, that was a big part of it too. What is, is this that witchcraft? He was, a, and the other thing which I think why they made that adjustment to him is that zoning is heavily nerfed in this game because of the run button and how offensive it is, especially in comparison to Injustice. Right. Where Injustice started off as probably one of the most zoning-oriented fighting games I'd ever seen uh, very early on. This was, like, this was like first couple months when Injustice was out. And then they had characters that came out DLC-wise that kind of blew up zoning. And were like, hey, we're, this is exactly what we do that counters that. That's when I actually really enjoyed playing Injustice after Batgirl and uh, Martian Manhunter and everything like that. Looks like they're trying to figure out something with the system. It's they're, they're getting updated right now, everyone. Don't worry. And uh, this game was like, we're just going to do the exact opposite. Like, super offensive run cancels. You have a meter for running. We're going to bring it back to MK3 style, which was a really good idea because in MKX, because of the, uh, the huge amount of close-range 50-50s a lot of characters have, what you normally see with competitive play in this game is people just blowing each other up with combos. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's kind of the way it goes. And then because the breaker system and the way it is, you kind of have people just running in and getting damage like crazy. And it actually makes MKX one of the most enjoyable fighting games to watch right now. Because um, as, I mean, as we all know, we're all guys that have been watching fighting games for years. Competent zoning is, is an art. It's a mastery. And it's not the easiest thing to do because as you zone, you leave yourself vulnerable. But to be good at it, it takes it takes skill. And it took skill and injustice as well. But now, like, MKX is so offensive-oriented that even people that don't watch fighting games a lot just see, like, pretty much Raiden running in and chopping the top of your head and doing all this crazy yep. stuff. And that's kind of what a big appeal is for um, especially a casual audience. So I do see where another realm was going with this game, and it's fun. It's hard to deal with sometimes with characters are running in and getting those 50-50s, but it's, uh, it definitely makes for a more enjoyable game to watch. All right, now that we've got the system issues out of the way, we're about to get into the match. 
Let's see who this guy plays. He's hovering balanced. I don't think he's going to go to possess. Jason Voorhees. Jason, Jason. Okay, this is not the guy. This is not the guy. So M. Lorenzo, sticking with Slasher Jason, uh, arguably one of the better variations. I still think that... Um, I, I, I think, think Relentless, relentless is, going, is a little bit better. Have you seen Forever King Jr.'s Relentless? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's, it's scary, man. It, because that and one has all the this. options. This one gets zoned like crazy. Like, Did you hear all. about the Jason buffs? There was more Jason buffs? Are you kidding me? Spooky. Bring him up. Oh, my God. Yep. He knows. Oh, my God. A quick button check, and they're going to get restarted. So the problem is is that Slasher Jason has no way to get around zoning options. Um, you can kind of get zoned out extremely hard with this variation, yet, unless you make really specific jumps. And jumping over Kenshi's teleport swords is almost impossible. But yeah, Forever King Jr. was ecstatic about the Jason. I came in yesterday, just dropped my bags off, walked in the venue, he came up to me smiling, hello, I'm like you're happy about the Jason buff. Was it, yes. was, it, was it only on like Relentless um, and Unstoppable? They said Jason is... Here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Increase the hitbox on backbreakers, spine shatter, choke, choke slam, tight squeeze, and crippler to make it harder to low profile. Relentless. Reduce recovery frames on Dark Pursuit, enhanced to 54, down from 106. Wow. Interesting. That is a huge... That's half the amount of time it takes to go into Dark Pursuit now. That is pretty crazy. So, M. Lorenzo went into the armored move, but this is beautiful. Great idea. Actually was saving it until he had uh, a proper breaker because Slasher Jason doesn't need meter to get good damage on his combos. Thank you, Spooky. Ooh, Ooh great parry. Nice reflect. Run up grab. Kenshi special. Take of the HUD sitting on full meter. Yes, and he's using is, those new buffs to his advantage. This is exactly how I thought this was going to go. He needs that safe zoning. Big of the HUD identified that he was he was neutral, uh, neutral crouching without a block underneath the teleport swords, and then went for the dash punch, and that hits mid. And I are one. Round two, fight. And this poor dude in the background getting torn apart literally by dogs. Wow, I never noticed that. <laughs> and he's dead. Confirmed, he's dead. That's a 10-0 matchup. L O L. All right, all right, Jason nice. finally got in. Here we go. He's got the B and B started. Oh, oh he, he can't drop those. Only 23% with Jason. That not, not good enough. There's the throw. And like we said, Kenji, he zones, he throws, and he goes low. Mm -hmm. His throw is designed to kick him back a whole bunch of distance, too, just to give Kenji his space. So if Kenji has to settle for a throw, that's totally fine because it resets his positioning. Yep. And this is the distance he likes to be on the screen. Nice block. Oh, good use of meter. Lorenzo can't get in now. He literally does not have the stamina to run because he just broke. I recommend picking a new character. Yeah, I I don't see them. This match is almost impossible against a competent Kenshi <laughs> and one of the better Kenshis. And I would say if maybe a different variation. Best. Yeah, you need to you need to walk through some some lake mist to get in on him. And even that can be kind of slow. Going for the rematch. Let's see if Lorenzo can find a way through the uh, find a way through all the zoning. He is determined. I respect that. Interesting use of meter early from Pig. No first hit has been established yet. There we go. Jason got it. Speak of the devil. Kind of just got to take these great ducks. See, I like it. Lorenzo slowly walking his way forward, and that's one of the better moves that Jason has. I think it's back forward three. It's the shoulder check. Pick of the Hut ran out of meter. He did. Sorry, stamina. And meter. <laughs> yeah. Now you're all right. The, all the above. <laughs> but now he's pushing Closer himself in the, the corner. corner. He's got to be careful. Jason's got yeah. full meter. All right, on that side, Pig has a couple different stage interactables he can use to even zone more. He just used one, and the engine's still on the ground to the left. Oh, the went low. Ooh, wow! Nice anti-air. He predicted that. Man, those uh, that increased recovery on his specials is really making a huge difference on uh, Kenshi's block strings right now. He absolutely needed it. Look at him throw these things out. Jason tried to armor, but to no avail. He got slapped right in his face. Yeah, nice as reflect. I, I played Jason quite a bit when he came out, and this this is going to be hard. 
Slasher's a lot of fun. He's essentially the Wolverine of this game. But at the same time, he gets he gets zoned pretty pretty dramatically. He I almost, bet you wish Slasher was like Wolverine. Dude, if it was faster, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's Wolverine because of how easy it is, you know? Got you. There we go. Punches Jason and the dick. KO. Fatality. There was nothing he could do about it. Yeah, I feel for the uh, I feel for Lorenzo. That is a tough fight because uh, that's why Relentless exists. You walk through some lake mist, you can get around that stuff. Yep, got to crack your neck and point at him mm -hmm. like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> coming for you, brother. I think one of the reasons that you don't see a lot of Relentless is because it relies heavily on um, down back forward command grabs, mm -hmm. and that stuff can be fairly difficult execution wise for some players to get it consistently. Low poke, command grab, back break, things like that. One of the sickest uh, brutalities in the game, I don't know if you've seen it, the Backbreaker Brutality is freaking Yes. Crack. With Unstoppable, Jason? Oh, dude. You've got to die and then come back to oh. life and then grab him. I landed it once, yes. and I was happy. I was like, I'm never playing Unstoppable ever again. You did it on a real person? I did it on a real person. I've only done it on a computer. I just it, One of those things that you just want to get online so bad, and then it's over, and it's like, never doing that again. I got it at least once. Next match stepping up on stage right now. Can uh, we take a moment to appreciate... The SpongeBob shirt, the Patrick shirt, and the My Little Pony lunchbox. The, I don't think the stream got to see that, but I saw it. <laughs> My Little Pony lunchbox. I think it looks like Patrick is officially high in this shirt. I don't even know what's going on. There's got to be a SpongeBob-related story behind that. All right. Big shout out to Gaming Generations. Uh, if you spend 20 bucks or more, you can get free shipping on all their products, GamingGenerations.com. They got figures, statues, artwork, uh, and accessories for game consoles. Check it out, guys. So next up, we've got Blind Ducky versus Yomi Gamer Blake. I was about to say, yeah, Jago Blake's going up there. I mean, Jago Blake. He's, got that, he's got that KI sprite. Now, like Reno Rex, Gamer Jago Blake likes to use Displacer Raiden. 